Well, good morning, my sunshiny friends. How are we on this fantastic Monday? I hope everybody is having a wonderful start to their week. So we have finished another 7.5 week, um, but I think we're about to switch it up. So yeah. Um, hello everybody, I am Cheryl. Welcome, if you are new here, we are thrilled to have you. To all of my fantabulous returning sunshiny friends, hello, thank you for being here. Um, so let's recap um, the week, shall we? And um, as I do, I'm going to attempt to drink. It's about, I don't know what time is it? It's like 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. I had some, a little bit of coffee this morning. Um, and I've got a, I'm, I'm cleaning the house today. So I just finished vacuuming. I have to make some food for a birthday party. Then I'm going to wash the floor, do the bathrooms and fold and put away all the laundry before I take a shower to go to my niece's birthday. She's going to be four. Um, my beautiful little great niece actually was, um, my thumbnail picture of last week was me and a little angel. And that's my little niece and it is her birthday and we are having a little Moana themed birthday, but that's not until four o'clock. Guys, the weekends, I am so bad. So I'm going to try to force myself to get this shake down while I'm talking to you. So forgive me, um, but I'm trying to get in the protein. I'm great during the week. I don't understand what my issue is on the weekends. On the weekend, I'm like doing stuff and then all of a sudden I'm like, I know I'm getting hungry and um, I'm making a taco salad later for the party. So I just got a grocery order and um, I got a bag of Doritos and I was like, I want some Doritos. And I opened up the bag and I had like five or six Doritos and I put the bag away. So like I, my willpower and my control has been so much better. Um, and today's shot day and I haven't taken it yet. So like I'm at the end. So the food suppression has been really, really top notch. Like it's been so much better in the past six months than it has been. But I just cannot get myself to properly eat on the weekends. Like when I go to school during the week, I bring my coffee with me that has 20 grams of protein. I usually try to put something else in there. I'll have some peanut butter crackers, I'll have a bar, and I'll try to force myself to do that. And then lunch, I'm usually pretty good all of this week. I had my lettuce cup, so I had 30 grams of protein. Um, and then dinner, the same thing. So like during the week, I'm great. The weekends come and I'm like a blubbering idiot who's like, oh my God, I don't know what to eat. Yesterday, I forced myself to have a yogurt but I don't want to waste the yogurt because I planned on yogurt for lunch every day this week. So I have five more yogurts in there and I don't want to waste the yogurt today, <laughs> which I know is stupid because I can eat something else for lunch. Um, but I'm just, I don't know. The weekends are just so weird. Is anybody else like when they're out of their normal routine, just have a hard time doing the normal things? So this is the vanilla. I prefer the chocolate, but this is the elite. The vanilla is not terrible. Again, it leaves like this weird, like something on my lips. Um, and it's not as thick and vanilla-y as the chocolate is thick and chocolatey, but I think I can get it down. Um, this tastes more like a protein, like a Slim Fast or something to me but not as bad. I still have those slim fast in the fridge that I just can't bring myself to eat. So at least I feel like if I get this in, I did have some of this in a hot coffee this morning at like 7.30. Um, so I drank like a cup of coffee. Um, very odd. My coffee has been a thing for years, actually for 24 years, since I was pregnant with my son who will be 24 this month. Um, I hadn't drank coffee up until that point and now I have to drink coffee like every single day. So I was 27 before I started drinking coffee on a regular basis and I was getting like severe, severe migraines when I was pregnant with Cody and the doctor said to drink like a can of Coke a day 
because I couldn't take medication. Um, this was, and this was a neurologist and my doctor, like my GY together was saying I needed caffeine to drink a can of Coke. And I was like, there's no way I can drink a can of Coke. That's disgusting. Um, so I started drinking coffee, iced coffee. And then from there went into hot coffee with the coffee made cream that became a whole years and years and years of, um, my coffee made addiction. <laughs> so I have been drinking hot coffee out of habit for the 24 years. And even for the past six months, I've been mostly eating, drinking the coffee. The past couple of weeks, I can barely finish a cup of coffee. So last week I didn't even make coffee. Um, and I brought my slate coffee or I drank that in the morning. I was bringing that to work, but then I'm going into work with like a slate and with my water bottle and all this. I'm trying to like take less stuff into the, into work with me. Um, so I drank my slate iced coffee as like my morning coffee last week and it was, it worked out fine. So that's what I think I will continue to do. But then on the weekend, again, I don't want to waste it. Um, so I made hot coffee this morning and just not cutting it has I know and I know I other people have said like their taste buds have changed um we got out back for dinner Friday night and I ordered shrimp um and mashed potatoes just to have something different usually I get the Alice Springs chicken and um I was trying something different don't try something different if you know something that you like just stick with what you like um and it was fine it just wasn't like the Alice Springs chicken is really good this was just okay. So I had a reward. Outback is Ryder's favorite, like, um, takeout or like fast foodie, like chain restaurant type of situation. Um, so we ordered Outback. It was delivered Friday and I had a reward for a free, um, dessert. So we ordered dessert and it was a Tim Tam cake, I think it was. And it was like a cake with chocolate mousse, peanut butter mousse, and then caramel. Not sure why, caramel and peanut butter don't really seem to go together, in my opinion. Um, so after dinner later on, he asked for it, and I like put all the things together because it came with like these cookies and the sauce, and I like put it on for him. So I had a couple of bites. We were originally, like the intent was to share it. Um, I had a couple of bites. It was so sweet. I'm like, I'm all set. I had, I think three bites of it. I could not eat any more of it. So I don't know if it really just was that sweet, this particular dessert, or if my taste buds are changing that much. Um, I haven't really like been like looking for candy cookie situation. I had a little mini, um, Snickers last night because I got home from the races and um I was with the baby all night and he was just not in the best moods so I was kind of hanging out with him and I never ate anything so when I got home at like nine o'clock last night I realized I hadn't eaten and I was kind of hungry so I had what did I eat oh, I had some crackers and cheese and then I was still hungry so I had a little mini Snickers bar and I was like kind of all set like I wasn't it's weird realizing things that like you have eaten your whole life now I'm not really super interested in so um interestingly enough I started my notes yesterday for today's video because I weigh in on Sunday take my shot on Sunday do my videos on Sunday for you all to see on Monday and what I had written yesterday was no loss because the scale for the past couple of weeks has pretty much been the same up and down up and down up and down with the same two pounds so what I had started last Sunday with to yesterday was the same and I was like okay like it is what it is I was like I'm always a little bummed but like it, it is what it is um and I know I've had a lot more stomach issues where I'm not as regular recently so I wasn't overly upset about it but then this morning when I weighed, I was down 1.2, which was really shocking to me because you guys know I have said multiple times, I feel like when I eat after 7.30, I always gain at least a half a pound or more for the next morning. So I fully, what do you got? 
give me that. <laughs> Where did you get that? The dog just brings me random things. Get out of here. Um, You want to say hi? He wants to say hi. Come on. Say hello. Say hello. <laughs> say hello. Okay. Let's keep my shirt on though. All right. Can you go lay down? Good boy. Thank you. Thank you for bringing me trash. Thank you. I appreciate it. Good boy. Um, so I had fully intended to have gained. So it was pretty wild for me to have lost this morning since I did eat crackers and cheese and a bite size um, Snickers, the Snickers I ate at 10 o'clock last night. So I fully intended for things to be very different this morning. So that was um, shocking, but hey, I'll take it. So I was getting a little frustrated with the scale this week and not really frustrated because I know just how strange our bodies are and how things have been working on these journeys. But I did extra movement three times this week. So I was kind of like, ding, ding, dang it. What the heck? Um, Thursday night, my bestie and I went walking. So we originally intended to walk um, a track at a high school and not really thinking school's back in season when we got there there was like a marching band and the flag unit on the track and um we didn't know if you're allowed or not allowed to be on the track like they were using the infield area the track obviously was vacant around it but just the fact that like I work for a school department in a different district um I wasn't comfortable going out on the track anyway because I know there's protocol. So when, the, when, you know, there's activities going on with students, all of the adults have to be quarry checked and background checked and all of that um, in order for them to be there. So because, I mean, I teach and she's a nurse, we both are quarried and background checked and everything. Um, it was like, I knew, but we weren't in that district. So I wasn't comfortable going out there. So we ended up walking around the school parking lot and then we ended up going up the street and walking and we crossed the street and there was a, a cemetery there so we walked up and down through the cemetery and as we were walking we were like hey, what is that so we walked over to like a cemetery is here and there's a playground here and then across the street is the high school so there was this playground here well in the middle was like this extra area i don't know if it's it's probably part of the town thing um but there hadn't been anything there previously so we walked over and there was this whole like um exercise area it was a blue cross blue shield sponsored area and it had all of these apparatuses and everything there was things to do like stretches planking um there was 10 different stations and like little things of like things to do so we stayed there we had walked I don't know a couple couple of miles maybe and then we stayed there for like a half an hour playing on all of this stuff um just like doing some stretches and some planks and some squats and like extra things so that was Thursday and then which day Friday at work maybe Friday I walked around the school like the outside of the school three times um so I mean that was at least a mile I don't really check um but it's definitely at least a mile because it's bigger than like a quarter mile track um and then yesterday at the race truck like I said the baby was just he had gotten scared at one point and he was just not having it so I had him in a stroller and I was doing laps around the race track and that's a third mile so I had done all of this like intentional extra movement during the week and I have my little bicycle thing at work and I just use that sporadically um so I was a little I mean, I wasn't even really disappointed, but I was kind of confuzzled, like why I'm eating all the same stuff. I'm getting my 90 grams of protein. I'm doing extra movement. I'm on 7.5 and I hadn't lost during the week. And I was like, what the heck? And then this morning, here we go. I wake up and I'm down a pound, point, 1.2 pounds. Um, and that was with some clothes on. So it's probably closer to 1.4, but I'm going to call it 1.2. Um, so yeah, in the end it, it all worked out and it came off when it was supposed to, I guess. Like, I know our body is just so weird how it's like up and down and I just, you never know what it's holding on to. Or maybe I had something that was 
saltier than normal, um, which is very possible because I did make my lettuce cups this week and they've got some soy sauce and the hoisin sauce in them. So um, that probably holds some extra salt, even though the soy salt was low sodium. So yeah, I just thought it was strange. Now the other thing, and I don't know if this would have anything to do with it. I did do my shot in the arm last week. Now I still had um, hunger suppression and I still had, um, you know, the food noise wasn't there. So I still had the two main things, but I wasn't losing as consistently. Like usually I feel like I lose like 0.2 a day, but whatever. Um, so that was interesting. So I think I'm not going to go again with the arm right away. I will go back um, to my stomach today, but I'm going to wait until I come back from the birthday party just because things have been so different lately as far as the side effects that I never really know what to expect and I don't want to get nauseous or tired um, to go to the baby's birthday. So I will do that when I come back um, tonight. And so here's what's going to happen tonight. And I don't really have a set reason for it. I had mentioned in the past I was considering going alternating between the 5 and 7.5. And I'm going to do that today. So tonight when I take my shot, I'm actually going to take the 5 milligram. So yesterday I was at Marshall's looking at some clothes again. The one pair of pants that I fell in love with, I can't find another color. They're like a athletic, um, like a yoga pant. They're like a, a jogger they're called, but they're soft as butter. And um, I got black. They are the only pair of pants. I went back to Marshall's and I went through every pair of pants in the place. And they are the only pair with this 90 degree label. Um, and I've looked online and they're all just like leggings. They're not these um, joggers, but they're so comfortable. And they were $12.99 and I really want another pair, but they didn't have any. So um, I was at Marshall's yesterday and I got a phone call. It was a weird number and I was like, I felt like I should take it. And it was the pharmacist, Jen. She's phenomenal. This chick, um, she, I, she recognizes me every time I walk in. She calls me when there's a problem. She advocates for people on their medication. She gets there early on the order day so that she can order like beforehand. She's phenomenal. And she called me and said um, that my refill was kicked back. And I was like, mm, crap. And she said they required a pre-auth. And she's like, I don't have you as having a pre-auth before. I'm pretty sure I did, but when everything first happened and I couldn't get all the medication and everything was originally at the little like low key mom and pop pharmacy in town here, he couldn't get anything and I had to have it sent from that pharmacy over to Walmart. So maybe she never saw the pre-auth or the, I don't know if it is called a prior authorization or pre-approval. I don't know. It's a PA. Um, so I think maybe it was just for six months. She thought it was because some insurance companies are making you go up in dose every month. And I really hope that that's not the case because here I am today going down. Um, and I really don't want to go up to 10. So I'm hoping that it was just a six month PA and um, Blue Cross will give me another one. So I don't know. So now I'm starting to get nervous because I don't know what's happening. So I do have the box of five that I've been kind of holding on to for a long time. So worst, worst, worst case scenario would be Blue Cross says, no, we're not covering this anymore. Um, then I would have seven weeks left of medication. So I'm going to do five, seven and a half. We'll see. I mean, who knows? Maybe come Wednesday, I'll be like, this was the worst thing I've ever done. I'm hoping that enough medication stays in my body that it just keeps building up, that it just kind of equals out that I'm, you know, taking 6.75 every week or something. I don't know. But I had discussed this with my doctor at my last appointment in July. She recommended it. She thought this was a good idea. We will see. Um, I have it for right now 
if Blue Cross doesn't like it, then we'll have to see what happens from there. So that is my plan for tonight is I'm gonna take the five milligrams in my stomach. Um, last, so for the past five weeks, I've been taking the 7.5. So I feel like there'll be like enough medication lingering that it shouldn't really matter. But we shall see because I would also like to sort out this digestive issue and make it, it's gotten better that I've been drinking the slate every morning. Um, but I just don't want to have any digestive issues. And it was so much better. Sorry, I get, my clothes are big, guys. Um, it was better on the five. So that is what I am looking to do for this week. I don't know. We shall see. Um, I have kind of a busy week. So even my, um, like my meal plans are a little funky for the week. Um because Tuesday night I have an appointment with clients. So I'm going to their house um, to get their cruise all situated and all of their excursions done. And that's like right after work and um, she's cooking. And then Thursday night we have um, parent teacher night with my son at his school. So that's like right at 5.30. So that's kind of like right in the middle of dinner time as well. So I don't really know what we're doing for dinner. Like I have like a plan for Monday and for Wednesday. And then Tuesday, I'm, I just bought like a pizza from Walmart to put in the oven for my husband and my son. Um. So yeah, I don't know. It's, this is gonna be a wild week. I think it's just gonna be super, super busy. But that's okay, I would rather be busy and it keeps my mind off of what I'm putting in my trap and makes things just a little bit easier. So I've got about half of this finished. I've got my water here. I am going to say goodbye to all of you, get my taco salad prep done, get everything done there get some laundry done because uh, it's all washed and I haven't folded any of it and things are just kind of getting ahead of me. So yeah, I think that's just about, I'm gonna wrap it up. Um, just a quick little update this week, guys. 1.2, we will take it. So that puts us at a total of, um, hmm, I don't know, I'm gonna have to check and see, um, I my phone is there. I think that puts us at 45, an actual 45 this time. Um, let me see, 46, well, 45.8, um, so almost 46 pounds. So yeah, I'm happy with that, I am good. You guys know, I have said before, if the good Lord stopped me right here it would be okay but um for now I will keep going oh and I didn't tell you guys last week did I that we did start the biggest loser at work last week so um Friday was weigh-in day I am not in the lead this time so there's I think there's like seven or eight of us that joined and um I'm in fourth I think so everybody at work is like doing awesome work as well and they're all doing the things and um getting themselves healthy as well so that's the fantastic um but I'm gonna have to try a little harder because I want the money so um yeah that's gonna wrap up today's video guys thank you all so much for being here you know how much I love and appreciate you if you could go and give this video a thumbs up it would really help me out if you are new here please 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 go and subscribe I would really appreciate it for all of my other sunshiny friends you guys know if we can't find the sunshine be the sunshine. Have a fantabulous week, guys. Bye.